so nervous right now. I literally feel like I'm about to f my pants. <laughs> Okay, I have been fidgeting for the last hour trying to start filming this video and I am so utterly nervous because this is a big deal for me because I've got some life updates for you guys. <sighs> By the end of the video, you'll understand why I am so nervous about this and for someone who's been filming videos on YouTube for literally 10 years, for me to be this, you know, nervous is actually a massive deal okay so i'm just gonna not think too much about it and film this video do minimal editing and just post it on youtube before i second guess myself as i actually posted an instagram story the other day and i was like hey i've got some life updates what do you guys think it's about and so many of you guys your first reaction was are you getting married or are you pregnant and i'm like what? No, it's no to both of those questions. The massive life update is I am starting my own startup and I am so nervous just saying that right now. I'm just gonna wing it and be super honest with you guys. So I find that some of my favorite videos that I've done that in my opinion were the most impactful videos um, were the ones where I was utterly so honest with you guys and filmed those videos in the moment of you know, me struggling with something. So this was one when I didn't have friends when I first moved to Singapore and was really lonely. And the second one that comes to mind is the video that I made about how I hate talking about my age. Those two videos aside, I think now it's 2022 and I'm about to embark on something equally as uncomfortable. So I guess I take this as a good sign. Discomfort is a sign of growth or potential growth. So what's the background context to all of this? As you guys know, I've been working in the startup tech space for the last couple of years, pretty much just since I I graduated from university um, and I moved from Canada to Singapore because at that time I joined a venture capital firm which was specifically investing in an industry which was the creator economy. The creator economy being anything related to content creators, social media, or so what a lot of people would call influencers as well. I moved from Canada to Singapore for that and I've gained so many valuable life lessons and career lessons throughout that journey and then after that and before that actually I just worked at a bunch of other startups okay. So perhaps let me start with why. Why start my own startup and why now? The why is honestly, I swear to God, I feel like from the moment I was born to this current date, I always knew I wanted to go down a very entrepreneurial path. It was just a matter of when and what. Even when I was like 14, started a business in Canada and then started a nonprofit and everything I really love to do in life, it was always building something from ground zero. So I really enjoy that process and all the ups and downs that come with it. I suppose that brings us to the next question, which is when would that happen or why now? I think I had a very pivotal moment at the end of last year. I am someone that absolutely absolutely loves setting monthly goals. At the beginning of every month, I always write down my goals for the month, which span four categories. It's self, which includes maybe things like play the piano twice a week or learn a new language. Health, which is anything that has to do with working out, drinking more water, sleeping better, anything that's health related. Third category is wealth, which is anything career related, personal finance. And then last category is relationships. So not just romantic, but friendships and relationship with my family as well. I like to see what I manage to achieve every month. And so it being New Year's Eve at Lake Tahoe, I was like, oh my God, let me go write down what I want to achieve for the upcoming year, which is this year, 2022. And I literally could not write anything down. And I called my sister New Year's Eve and I was sobbing on the phone. I was like, dude, I don't know what I want to do with my life. And I felt super stuck. When you lose that spark in life, everything else just seems really dull. And then it starts seeping into other aspects of your life. And so I really, really had to reevaluate what I wanted to do in my life. And after that moment, I actually vividly remember, holy shit, this is so unlike me. I literally can write 10 bullet points per category every month and I can't write a single thing down for what I want to do in my year. In terms of what was the trigger point, it was definitely that New Year's Eve planning session. But then honestly, for the last three years, I was always building something on the side. And when I say on the side, it was outside of my full-time job, outside of my YouTube and whatever other stuff I was doing. I was still carving out time out of pure interest and passion to build something on the side. And I bootstrapped a few things before, but then I'd put it on the back burner because let's say I'd get a new job and then I'd focus on the new job. So I 
stop caring about this thing. Then six months later, I'd pick it back up. And I just kept wanting, ha like having that itch. I just really had that freaking itch. But then I probably gave myself a lot of excuses. You know, you get comfortable getting a salary and all this stuff. And honestly, I think at some point you're like, bro, I don't even have kids, okay? If I'm not gonna do it now when I don't have dependents and I don't have any major life commitments, when am I gonna do it? And what do I have to lose? I think that was also a big thing is I realistically do not have anything to lose other than me burning away my savings. So that's when I told myself, Sherry, you have until your birthday, which is in March, you have, and you have until March to go do something about it and take action. And so I started telling my friends and my family, like the people closest around me, and I told them about the March deadline that I gave myself. So I think all those things compounded together was the reason why I decided to jump into being a founder. I guess the final question is, what exactly am I building? To be honest, part of what I'm doing right now is figuring that out. As you guys know, I was working at that VC in the creator space and Obviously, as you know, I film YouTube videos, so I am a content creator myself. And what I'm building naturally is actually in the creator economy as an industry. And given these two perspectives and also having worked with creators from the other side of the table, there's a whole host of inefficient workflows or I guess lack of workflows in this industry. And this industry has blown up significantly in the last couple of years as well. There's a lot of infrastructure to be made in this industry. And so that is exactly what I am doing. I am trying to build something for creators and managers in this space. I'll be 100% more than happy to answer all your questions and go more into detail in future videos. This video was honestly meant to just be like, yo, this is what I'm doing with my life now. So I can be a little more transparent with all the stuff that's going down. Honestly, part of what I've been doing for the last couple months has been building, getting user feedback, iterating and doing the entire thing again and again and again until I get product market fit. So to be honest, the reason why I wanna film this before I, I, you know, the reason why I'm so nervous, okay, let me put it this way. The reason why I'm so nervous is that there's inevitably going to be so many low points as part of this journey and there already has been in the last couple months. It's like sometimes you take a few steps forward and one step back, a few steps forward, one step back. And I've learned to embrace it, but obviously there are still very low moments and I kind of want to do it for myself first and foremost to document this journey so I can always look back and realize how much I've grown. When I look back at the videos from a couple years ago when I first moved to Singapore, I also realized how much I've grown since then. So I think one is documenting this for myself to view, but second is also for anyone who may be considering going down the path of entrepreneurship, I hope my journey, especially the highs and lows, will be able to share a more realistic uh, snapshot of what it looks like because it's not just all glory and fame and like Forbes 30 under 30 and all that kind of stuff. There is definitely a lot of that you have to deal with that is not very fun that honestly, probably I shouldn't document it in front of a camera, but I am gonna do it because why not? I would love to take you guys on this journey. Come with me as we work towards, as of right now, the goal is product market fit. Um, and I don't know how in depth or detailed and all this kind of technical stuff am I gonna get into, but honestly, you guys let me know in the comments. I am gonna be letting you guys also guide me on this journey on what you guys are interested in watching. Whether it's more about the pitching side of things, more about fundraising and going through all of that and all the contracts on the software side, just let me know in the comments and I will also take your guidance on how to tackle this very hefty journey I am embarking on. And yeah, I, um, yeah, I mean, I've already grown up with you guys on YouTube for a decade, so might as well keep that journey going, right? <laughs> Outside of the very startup related content, to be honest, one other thing I would love to touch on as well is just about mental health and burning out. Because if you look at my last few videos, I don't remember if I filmed on the weekend. I think I did, I don't remember. But right now my days, my Monday to Sunday, they're all kind of blurring into each other because when you're running your own startup, kind of every hour counts, but then also how do you take care of yourself so that you don't burn out? How do you pace yourself? Because this is kind of like a marathon, but a marathon I want to run really fast. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna navigate it firsthand with you guys. I'm sure there's gonna be many, many moments where I fall down, but you best bet, Sherry does not stay down. Sherry picks herself back up and we shall keep going. Um, so anyway, would love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what type of stuff you want me to cover in the upcoming weeks. And next week I'm actually gonna be flying to LA and San Francisco because I am 
I have a bunch of meetings, but then also I'm going to be doing a panel at VidCon. And VidCon, if you guys don't know, is the biggest creator conference that happens. The OG one happens in Los Angeles. I'll be flying in to do a panel there, which I'm very excited about. This is the first trip for the startup. Let's not go too much into detail. Everything we can talk about, I am an open book. So just ask me any questions you may have. And for now, I'ma just save this video minimal editing i'm gonna throw it on youtube <laughs> i'm so nervous oh my god okay i will see you guys in my next video bye honestly ironically i find it really funny that i actually decided to wear this jacket today which is a patagonia sweater <laughs> i'm such a tech bro no i actually did not plan that